are all together in the same boat, surrounded by one ocean that provides us with many goods and services, just as the coral reefs within it. These life-giving ecosystems may be the first to fall victim to the devastating effects of the accelerating climate change. Eric Bickle is C-Corps' Director of Technology and Implementation. Within kind of the, the restoration or coral enhancement field, what we need to do is be able to make that jump from doing these small hectare or smaller sized projects and really scaling that to an impactful level, to really have an ecosystem effect to the work that we're doing. We, we have to bring in other disciplines into what we're doing. For so long, and, and, and certainly from its inception, coral restoration or, or coral enhancement was, was researchers trying to figure out how to do this. We, we have to pull in other disciplines in the same way that you would look at, at growing a company. You, you, you bring in uh, folks who work in engineering and technology development and materials. You bring in folks who work on logistics and can help find those efficiencies and help build those technologies and those methodologies that are more efficient that are more cost effective, that are, that are more uh, effective in just allowing corals to, to survive better than they do now. Um, and, and using that, that expertise and combining that expertise to get over these hurdles. Coral reefs need our help. To give corals a chance to recover, we need to buy them time to adjust to the changing conditions in our oceans. So I oversee our implementation program, which is our capacity building program and training groups and identifying those groups that we can share these tools and these technologies and these methodologies that we've developed with. We're, really, we're looking for that, that spark and that passion within these groups and that dedication to the work. And, and that, that last part might be the most important part, finding those groups that, that, that really are, are really motivated by the work and see the value in it and want to grow their impact in their country. They have that local knowledge and those local connections to be able to do the work. And they've built that infrastructure of their organization to be able to grow and, and to pull the community into it and, and, and really to have those connections that have that community's interest in mind. We're, that's, that's the kind of capacity that we're looking for. Upon successfully implementing our restoration program in the Caribbean, we are now working on its expansion with our partners in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Secor's roving restoration technician, Eduardo Antonio Avila Pech, has a very special job. Consiste in ir a distintos lugares y estar apoyando a las personas, principalmente en el desove y estar coordinando un poquito con ellos la, las actividades, también planear la logística y pues ver estar ver todos estos lugares de restauración, o sea, tanto para el desove, para las siembras y para pues todo lo que se necesite. Intento relacionarme mucho con ellos. Antes de, antes de ir ya los conozco, pero intento formar un, un vínculo un poco más, más cercano y pues estar allá con ellos, viendo los lugares de a donde vamos a ir a trabajar, pues apoyando en todo lo que puedo. Fundamar was the first partner to participate and join Secor's program to implement coral seeding, and their team is now in turn teaching others. Andreina Valdez Trinidad is Fundamar's program coordinator. Me encanta ver los arrecifes porque en los corales tú siempre ve algo diferente. O sea, pues un coral que tú siempre ve y se puede ver diferente o hay animalitos que se ven diferente. En mi día a día voy a bucear, monitorear corales, eh, tanto bebé como la salud de los arrecifes. En lo de sobe primero tengo que ver el calendario, hacer el calendario, hacer las predicciones de cuándo vamos a salir. Luego de que tengo los días que vamos a salir, tengo que armar los grupos para las especies que vamos a ver, pedir tanques, sacar los permisos para salir de noche, eh, buscar todo lo que vamos a usar en la colecta, lo que vamos a usar para tomar los datos y preparar el laboratorio, porque siempre hay que estar preparado por si desoban y informar todo el equipo de qué deben hacer. Secor's team is highly dedicated to give coral reefs a future, and so are our partners on site. This is likely the last decade in which we can set the course for the future of coral reefs. We at Secor feel a great responsibility in this race against time.
Get on board and join us on our mission.